There are many ways to become a superhero, but orphan Billy Batson didn't come from the planet Krypton, he isn't half Atlantean, and he definitely isn't from Themyscira. All that Billy needs is the magic word. Let's take a look at the new DC film, Shazam. Please welcome the stars of Shazam, Zachary Levi, Asher Angel, Jack Dylan Grazer, and Mark Strong. Everybody. Hey, oh, well built. Hey, look at him. Hey, what's Everybody up? Like, Everybody. Everybody. I like the shirt. Yeah. The whole thing's going to explode. Hey, hi. Guys, uh, this was the best. I can't tell you. I was saying this backstage. I've been waiting my whole life for this movie, and I can't tell you how much I love it as this big Shazam fan. Um, so I'm going to be really, really effusive this entire time. Be effusive. Uh, be effusive. Be all the effusive. Uh, but let's start with you, Zachary. You've been sort of tied into the comic book fandom for a very long time. So what was it like for you that first time you put on the Shazam costume? I mean, it's it's the, it is the wish fulfillment. I, I grew up reading a bunch of comics and playing video games and still do. And, uh, you know, I've been very blessed to have some other moments in and of that world as an actor. But to actually be a, like a bona fide caped, you know, spandex wearing superhero that gets to hang out with the rest of, you know, all of those other people in the comics and all that, you know, uh, it's, it's an honor. It's, it's, it felt like an honor. It still feels like an honor. And I was also like the inner child of me was losing his damn mind. I was like, this is the greatest. This is the greatest. How did you guys react when you saw him in the costume? <laughs> I was blown away. I was I was just. <laughs> yeah. I was, How do you talk? How uh, even? Every fourth word is heard as yeah. we go around. And this is your first time using a mic, right? But, <laughs> well, yeah, this is my first time. I'm really into this thing. What is this called again? It's called a microphone. <laughs> Microtome. <laughs> what, was it, what was it like, seeing, seeing the suit for the first time? I think it? it was really cool. I was blown away. I was bewildered by it. It was so cool. I, I, I think the casting could not have been better. I think you were such a... I think I'm giving a speech to you. Like I just, I I'm, not for, for, I'm not looking for compliments. No, 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 no I'm looking like I'm just, fishing for compliments. What's this going on? You're a no, but you're a real bona fide superhero now. And that, I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. Yeah. I mean, well, no. Uh, so, I mean, no, Asher, like, yeah, what is great. that like for you when you're just like, that's supposed to be me? Yeah. Well, initially, um, <laughs> it's kind of funny because we're really his trainers. Yeah. So, I mean, you see all this muscle, that's all us. And you know, the suit, they the put suit, me through the ropes, it added man. like, added some things, but it's really just us. Like we go to the gym, we work out. See, this is why we're bigger than him, <laughs> as you can see. But, um, <laughs> are we talking was, about egos anyway, yeah. or what are we? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, but it was, no, it was amazing seeing him in the suit. He, um, he looked like a superhero and he, they, I mean, it was just perfect casting and he um, absolutely knocked it out of the park. So, Thanks, man, you killed it, buddy. Speaking of perfect mm -hmm. casting, Mark, you are amazing as Dr. Savannah. You're who, at me and then you're no, I, I'm you're pointing fine. at both. I'll get to Where's you. you <laughs> no, I will say, like, uh, we mentioned this backstage, but you walk on screen as Dr. Savannah, and I'm like, that's Dr. Savannah. Obviously, New 52 Dr. Savannah. Yeah. But what I found very interesting about your take on his character, he's like this dark mirror of Billy Batson, a good kid who makes every single wrong, wrong decision. Yeah. Um, how, what is it like playing a character that is so broken internally? It's very rare in these kind of movies that you get to have a backstory. I mean, the fact that the film opens with, with a young Sivana and all the problems that he encounters as a kid that then manifests themselves later when, he, when he's a, a grown-up is pretty unusual. So, you, you know, you get a backstory. And so it makes the job much easier, I have to say. So all I had to really do was be, uh, as I always describe it, heat-seeking ballistic evil, really. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun doing it, you know. I just basically got to menace these beautiful people the whole time, so... And look great doing it. Really, oh, good bless doing you, it. bless you. And the suit, I have to say, his, his. When I first saw the outfit, it was. It's amazing. I mean, it's uh, the, the texture of it is incredible. The way the lighting and stuff all worked with it was uh, really quite tricky. There's a lot of wires going on in that suit, and there were about ten Don't of them. Give away all the secrets, Mark. <laughs> but they. There's know no that. wires at all. It's magic. They know that. There's, there was about ten of them, right? Was there, there's a quite. Yeah, a they made about ten suits. Well, because we had st uh, some for the stunt doubles as well, for them to totally tear up and trash around. Yeah, mm. I mean, it was an incredible thing. And so many man hours just to, you know, and, and artistry to create something like that with the wiring. We'll call it quote unquote wiring uh, and, uh, and, and, and the detail and, and all that. It was very cool. Uh, one thing that beyond the suit, you have to sort of mirror Asher's portrayal as Billy. And Billy, uh, you're Asher. Freudian. Uh, Freudian. 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 No, because you're really great <laughs> in this movie. But uh, did you guys work together a lot to sort of create your version of Billy, so that way when Zachary takes on the costume, he feels like you. Like, what did you guys do to build that character? 
I mean, listen, he's pretty. He was pretty darn good at it already. I mean, but you know, we got together and we we didn't have a lot of time to be honest. Like we just really. We, we read the script together, we kind of bonded, we did some self-tapes for each other, but we already had like the same facial <laughs> expressions and mannerisms and that kind of stuff, so. I mean, we, yeah, fortunately for him, and unfortunately for us, he was still being a star in his Disney show at the time, so it was difficult to get Asher back up to Toronto, but we were very blessed to have some quality time uh, with the table read and rehearsals with David uh, Sandberg, our, our incredible director, and and also, like, I don't know, I mean, I just like breaking bread with him and his family gave me a really good idea of his heart and his mind and his mannerisms and, you know, and honestly, like, I'm so grateful that this movie is not just full of incredibly talented people, but like incredibly excellent people. All of these gentlemen here, uh, all the rest of our cast, you know, all those kids, they all, you all, all I mean, I don't want to make your egos too big right now, <laughs> but you guys all really like maintained and got along together. And you know, that, so I learned a lot about his character through that stuff too. Well, to, Elevate Jack's ego because apparently he doesn't get need to get any. Bigger. You can't elevate anymore, buddy. <laughs> no, it's I, pretty big right now. What was interesting about the movie was you have to carry the film a lot, moving between uh, Asher and Zachary. Yeah. And I was wondering how your relationship with each character changed between each cast member. Uh, yeah, for sure. There was definitely a uh, a jump sometimes between the two characters. I mean, it's the same character, but when they were in their different forms, like with with Billy, there's a little more. Tension. I feel like there's a little more like angst between us because he's not. He's still lost in himself in, in a way, in a slightly metaphoric way. When he's in the 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 body of Shazam, the almighty superhero, he um he I don't know. He, maybe he feels more in, in, like, comfortable with himself. He feels more confident. Uh, so he's less, uh, for lack of a better word, grumpy at me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he um he uh, yeah he's he's more like into it and really enthusiastic about everything and like let's do something let's just ha we have so many opportunities we can do whatever we want um and so instead of him just like i just want to go home and like i don't know write letters to something <laughs> you were also an it and i have to ask <laughs> is that what he's doing <laughs> i'm gonna go Sorry, home and spoiler write alert that he but he does write letters to he does write something. letters uh, but, but you're an person. it and i have to ask who's scarier bill skarsgård or mark strong Ooh. <laughs> um, I'm much closer to him at the moment than, uh, <laughs> than Skarsgård yeah. is. So. I am, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, well, so, but, but, I mean, he's already scary without the makeup. I know. <laughs> so. And I get to fly and fire I'm electricity really, out of my hands, so and he just gets to wear a clown heart. costume. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it takes a lot more uh, gusto to be as scary as him without makeup. So, uh, I'll have to go with uh, Doctor Savannah. What do you guys say? You're welcome. Yeah. Savannah or, or anyways. Uh, I don't know. So it took me a minute to watch the first it because I'm not down with that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I feel like like there's horror movies. There's scary movies. There's things where you're kind of watching the plot unfold. And you're like, this is totally fiction. This is completely never going to happen. Uh, then there's movies like it where you kind of <laughs> you're watching it and you're going, this is the devil at work and I don't want this in my life right now. I don't need that's that kind of scary is a whole nother kind of scary. However, however, <laughs> you are in control of, you know, a lot of very scary Powerful. power that is, you know, it's it's got some pucker factor. You know what I mean? Like, he's kind of a scary dude. <laughs> there is one scene that scared the crap out of He, he kind of harnesses some forces of uh, evil. Have you guys seen the movie? No, 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 no. Okay, we're, so we're not going to spoil it. Yeah. Give it like, away. Yeah, yeah but... you can say it. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> well, then he can probably pass comment if he's seen it. But No, but don't. It, don't, Savannah don't. Savannah manages to harness some, some uh, pretty outrageous forces of destruction that are pretty impressive. And what I love about the film, actually, is as humorous and as funny and as, uh, as and as kind of lighthearted as it is, it's balanced by this this kind of other strand, which means that there's real genuine jeopardy and danger in the film for our heroes. It has a very uh, interesting Goonies feel. It feels like it gets very dark and it gets very light and it sort of has a really wonderful balance, especially when all the kids get together in a scene that I'm not gonna talk about because spoilers. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, Billy Batson is a character that's been around for about 80 years. Um, and he's, <laughs> yeah. He's still like 14. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Asher, I was wondering, like, he's gone through so many different evolutions. Where do you want 
this version of Billy Batson to speak to kids today? Like, what is it you want a 2019 year old kid to see in your version of Billy Batson? I want them to see that, you know, family's the most important thing. You know, this is a kid that hasn't had anybody and it's just been him all alone in this world for his entire life. And I think that's important for kids because, I mean, not having a mom, not having a dad and going to these foster homes and, you know, going in and out of group homes and, you know, finding your real family through that, which I think is really important. So. That's awesome. Mm. Um, let's see. Mm. I'm trying to, there's one question that's a little, mm. may or may mm. not be a spoiler. What else we, uh, play it safe. Don't, play it safe. Don't. No, no. Yeah. No. Hmm. No, I'm going to play it, it safe. You guys get it? <laughs> get you can play note. it safe. But this film is a very much a, uh, a coming-of-age story. And as you mentioned, it has a lot about family and the importance of family. And that family isn't just about who you're related to. It can be found. And, you know, as Jack and Asher, as you guys grow up, like, where do you want to see, hopefully, future films? Like, what themes do you want to explore as you grow up? Uh, I guess I'm kind of a... A cinephile conservist, conservist. I don't. I love classic. I just. I kind of want to just to stay the same. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. I love movies. I definitely want. To, so this movie, actually, yeah, but it, it, it's, which is an important thing to say. This movie does include a lot of diversity in so many ways. Uh, I mean, Foster. We have not seen that in a in a superhero movie. It. Rarely, I, I can't even think of one besides this movie. Um, and then the, the the diversity between the kids and other characters in the movie—it's really profound. It's really awesome, um, and that's I think it's a first for for a super a superhero movie like this. Um, so we're really stepping out of the uh, the boundaries, and we're and we're making a statement. <laughs> I mean, that family theme even extends to the you know the bad guy. Yeah. Because you see him as a young boy, and he has supposedly a, a proper family. And uh, of course, they 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 bully him, and he doesn't have a great time with his real family. So uh, that theme is kind of through the whole movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zachary, where, where would you hope to explore in future films if you have the hopefully have the chance? Mars, Mars. Well, yeah. Well, no, they got to Venus. Mars. I think that's really what I'm trying to get after. <laughs> um, uh, Future family films? Well, just like Shazam. Like, if Shazam continues, like, what themes do you want to this to explore? Oh man, I, I don't know. know. I, look, uh, uh, all of them, all of them, every yeah. every theme, every story. I mean, look. First of all, there's nothing new under the sun, as we know. Every story has been told in some way, shape, or, and form. We just get to be the stewards of this particular version of. Quite honestly, I, I think maybe one of the most iconic archetype hero stories ever, which is. The, the child who uh, is feeling kind of lost and without power, but then believed in and given a power to say a magic word and become the super powered version of themselves. That to me is one of the most inspiring uh, kind of you know epics to be able to tell. And we get to tell it in a, a, a very fun, funny, heartfelt way. Uh, if we can, if more movies can be that, if more movies can bring joy to people, I mean, we're living, the world has always had its problems. I'm not going to get into all of the, the lineage of all that, but right now we have our own problems. And I think it's incredibly important that along with all of the very deep and very important films that are made, it's also important to have movies that are eliciting joy in people to bring them back to places like hope and love and kindness and empathy and all of those things. And, and having, like Jack was saying, uh, you know, a, an incredibly diverse ethnic cast and having people be able to see themselves represented on screen in a number of different ways, including being a disabled kid as Freddie Freeman is and being foster kids all through the movie. You know, all of those things, if we can keep making movies where people feel seen and loved and included, that's the kind of movie I want to make over and over yeah, and over again. Yeah, yeah, good answer. I, I think what's really, what I loved about the film is that it's interesting. It's one of my new favorite Christmas adjacent movies. It takes place during the holidays. Yeah. yeah. Like Die Hard. It is my new, it's like my I, new and Die like Hard. like Gremlins. Die Hard, it's guys. Die You're hard. welcome. And Gremlins. That's and Gremlins. And Gremlins. And Batman Returns. And Batman Returns. <laughs> That's true. It's true. It's very true. I, I, but that sense of joy was what really uh, made me fall in love with this movie. Um, and I said this before backstage, but like this was a film that I've waited 36 years to see. I grew up with the character. Um, I've watched the movie serials. I watched all these things, and it was very 
powerful for me to see this because my father is a huge, huge, huge Shazam fan, and he is in the audience right now. And yeah. I have to. Is that your dad? That's my dad. Yeah. And Aww. is this the dad that you told me about? This is the dad I told you about. The dad you told me about. So I have to tell you, like, how much it means to me to see this movie is very personal, but also just profound. And I get to see this on screen is means more to me than you'll ever know. So with that said, fan questions. <laughs> We got time for fan questions. We have, guys. we have Tumblr fan questions coming in. Uh, so these are kind of interesting. So someone posted, I was just minding my own business when I saw the Shazam trailer and cried, see y'all in April. Cried. Oh. Wow. Is that cried, see you all in April, or cried? <laughs> exactly. Full stop, I think it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grammar really is necessary, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we need, we, let's, let's all be Sorry, you know, uh, aware grammar. of that in our oh, social I'm needs. A... Um, I think, I well, think, I think. She, she is, Risa, I believe it is saying she cried. She was moved, yeah. yeah. She cried. And comma, see y'all in April. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I think that she's crying and then she's or, see or, 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 or exclaimed, cried. Yeah. See y'all in April. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we've got Also, no, come on. Come on. You Where, where's the end of this sentence? Let's go to the Let's next one. Looking at it forever. And April has a capital A. Yeah. <laughs> And so, another thing. Apparently, discreetly, Jacob would, um, I would die for Billy Batson. Billy, Billy Batson? No, well, all of it's a question. <laughs> That's die right. Die um, for Billy Batson? I I would would die. die. It's almost like Ron Burgundy <laughs> reading the wrong teleprompter. That's what that is. Uh, I mean, how do, I mean, does that make you, how does it make you feel? I don't know what that, <laughs> I mean, is it a good thing or I don't know thing? what that means. What do, oh my God. I think we should move how to the next one. How do I feel? I think, what do we do? Well, let's go to the next one. Yeah, next yeah, one. yeah let's go to the next one. Skip. All right, after all those big bunch of superhero movies set in New York, I'm finally going to see one that's set in Philly. I can't believe I'm going to watch Zachary Levi. And that's right, right? And, Zachary and, Levi, yeah, that's Zachary right. Levi. And Mark Strong, that's right, right? It's flat and <laughs> set the buses and shazam, demolish, demolish Liberty 01, a car, fly, 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 uh, well, I mean that no, that that is true. I mean, yeah. the the film, the, though we shot it almost primarily in Toronto, we did have a couple of days that we got yeah. to shoot in uh, uh, in Philadelphia, and the story about that. takes place yeah. in Philadelphia, and uh, and has a a lot of love and homage to that city. So awesome. that, it is cool to be able to do that. Let's see, next one. So Chuck really did become a badass after all. <laughs> <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> Did you think that Chuck like prepared you for this role? Because there's a lot of similarities in someone. Oh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like 100%. I mean, look, at the end of the day, they're, I think both of them were, I don't know, they, they were both op optimistic dudes who loved life and, 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 had, and genuinely had a, a good heart. They just had a good heart. Yeah. No matter what Chuck went through in that series, he was always trying to make the very best humane decision he could ever make when it came to his family and his friends and even the bad guys that he would never shoot real bullets at. And what I was constantly being like, just kill the dude, just kill him. <laughs> kidding, I never said that, maybe occasionally. Uh, but Billy has that same type of, I think, heart. So, yeah. Uh, we have two fan, uh, audience questions. Oh, yeah. And let's see. There's one right there. There you are. Hey. 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 Oh, how did you get a microphone? What a shocker. <laughs> well, magic. Oh, movie magic. Uh, okay, I've got a question for Mark. Yeah, so I, I kind of know you from England in terms of um, our friends from the North and TV shows like that. My American friends know you as the villain in a lot of Hollywood movies. So the question I have is... Um, what attracts you to those villainous type of roles? And excluding Shazam, do you have a favorite villain that you've played in any of your movies? Sinestro. Uh, yeah, no, Sinestro. Sinestro was a pretty good villain, yeah. too. Yeah. He's so um, good. I was talking to somebody about this the other day, and as a Brit, you'll understand what I mean, is that I think that the, the culture in America is, is reveres the hero, whereas we're not afraid of revering you know, uh, the villains. We have Macbeth and Richard III as, as potential, you know, our, our literary tradition revolves around It people doesn't who, work out well for those guys. No, it doesn't, but they're out and out <laughs> villains. They're kind of, but you explore them, you know, Shakespeare yeah. explores those characters, and uh, maybe that's why a lot of Brits play the bad guy, I don't know, uh, and maybe that's getting too deep into it, but the, the truth is they're great fun to play, you know what I mean? You, you, it's acting, and I always felt as an actor, 
I want to do stuff that's as far away from me as possible, you know, whether it's, um, you know, costumes or wigs or accents or, or to play somebody really nasty. I mean, I don't go home and threaten the wife and kids, I promise. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a relatively nice guy in real life. I like to think. So this is something that I do at work, if you know. So, and it's, it's, it's something that's separate. What I find really hard is what these guys do, which is pretty much play yourself, you know, and you, have, you can only rely on your own natural charisma and personality and, and play straight. I, I tend to do stuff that's removed from me. I find that much easier. Yeah. I hope that answers your question. Okay. We have one more, and it's there. Hi, Lola, and I have a question. Since you guys are basically a part of the DC family, I wanted to know if you guys got a chance to fight uh, Marvel, who would you fight and why? <laughs> <laughs> is this where the war starts? This is where the war starts. This is where the war begins. We will all remember this. Says, uh, no, I don't. I don't know. Who would you? Who would you fight? In Ant the Man's Marvel? quite small, isn't he? Was that uh, Ant Man? Yeah, yeah. Ant Man. Quite manageable. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. see, then he flips together. the switch. And he's right right. Also, when he's small, fight? it's really strong. Ant Man, so. Ant -Man can be yeah. false advertising sometimes. He can be yeah. Giant Man. He just gets winded, you know. Uh, I don't know. Who would I? I feel like this is just landmine central. How do I not offend somebody? Um, uh, I don't know. Oh, you know what? You know. You know what would be perfect? I would love. I would love for Shazam to fight Thor. Yes. I think that would yes. be so yes. be fun. Sick. And I don't need to win. I think the two of us would be like you know thunder buddies for life. It would be super super fun. Do you think you get confused? He's like, you look familiar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, if you had a goatee and blonde hair, I might act actually recognize you. And I'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be a great distraction. <laughs> Oh, you said two. It's in oh, Thor, bro. Right in that movie. Yeah, really quickly too. Yeah, I know. I thought it was like Jackie. That's cool. That's cool. I and it was sad when you died. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it died. <laughs> yeah. I think we can beat Spider-Man, like yeah. easily. Yeah. That would be fun. Oh yeah, for, easily. That for, yeah. But like three fun. radioactive fight or like. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Like he's when he's just regular, but whatever. Peter Parker, uh, Spider Man, not, Spider -Man no. not even close. Not even close. It's just the kid who was going to high school, minding his own business, and you just get to run up and <laughs> punch him in the face. That's real nice. <laughs> Unbelievable. Both kids. Lolo, who do you think would be a good matchup in the two universes? Yeah. To be honest, I think Shazam and uh, Thor. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. And to be honest, I'd like to see. I would like to see Captain America fight Shazam. Oh, okay. oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Shazam. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like they would get along right away. Chris They're like, Evans hey, you're pretty cool. I think we yeah, both, yeah. yeah. We're both kind of Boy Scouts. Funny. Yeah. We both, we both have that have that in our arms. I think Savannah fighting Dr. Doom would be a pretty cool yes. one. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. That'd be, that'd be tough. <laughs> oh, I don't think? know if you win that. He's a tough guy. He's yeah, after, he's a huge. doctor after all. He's I've got I've got all got those guys on my side. You know what yeah, I mean? He's thing. studied a long time to understand the concepts of doom. <laughs> Wait, what was the what was the last movie that they did where two bad like two villains fought each other? Uh, I mean, you could probably count like Spider Man Three, uh, Venom and Shazam. Uh, Freddy, Sandman. Freddy versus Jason. Freddy versus Jason. Yeah, <laughs> there's also I think that, that was the last. Alien one. versus Predator. Alien versus Predator. Predator. Also, uh, in Requiem. This is terrible. Um, <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. It was like shocking. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What else are the other villain movies fight, fighting each other? I don't know. Jack, did you have one you're gonna throw in? Yeah. Front? I think it'd be funny for um, for. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you're just so geek. No, I'm what just always terrified. What's about to come out of your mouth? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say this what do you think really, it's like really for me really this entire just time? Say just say it. I think it'd be really funny if you fought Hulk, because you would just. Oh yeah, yeah that would be fun. Movie. That could be fun. But I feel like you'd be friends with like Savannah, like doctors, doctors. But like when he's Mark Ruffalo, and then yeah. and then you like razz him on to turn him into Hulk. <laughs> like he's Mark Ruffalo, he's like, "Don't get me mad, please. Ow, don't get me mad." Uh, and then you get him mad. <laughs> right? Sure, yeah, I'm with you. There are no pushovers, to be honest. No, in the I, I, world, are there? So uh, <laughs> whatever you, whoever you match up with, yeah, anybody, it's going to be a big yeah. old ding dong. I feel like Shazam would just be happy to meet everybody. Oh, one hundred percent. And like, Freddie would just be like, "Oh my God, you're Wolverine." Yeah. The entire time. I know all of your powers. Yeah. <laughs> I can name every single one. If, if we lived in that universe, but we don't. We don't. No, we live in as of right the now. DC universe, and I, could kill I would Superman. really like to go and fight with other people. Speaking of the Superman, DC universe, you could be. like Superman. Dude, a, a Shazam Superman fight is like. He beat him without he power. He's the list for me. Like, Again, I'm not saying I'd win, but I'm not, no, not you saying I'd Or you're not saying either. that. That's no, what yeah. I'm saying. You do say that. I, but, and it's true. He would win, because he has one. And he's beat him without powers. He has. 
Yeah, he has. No, I've read Kingdom Come. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he really took a bullet in that movie. He really did, yeah. Well, on that note, <laughs> 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 Sam Thunders into... <laughs> Thank you, Zachary, Asher, Jack, and Mark. Oh, my God, this has gone crazy. Shazam Thunders into theaters April 5th. <laughs> April 5th. April, April 5th. 5th. Everybody April 5th, 2019. Yes. Woo!